one. I think my mum was the main influence on me. Yeah. Um, like single parent, didn't drive anything like that. So she was taking me, wow. <coughs> taking me buses, trains to training. Wow. Never complained. Never yeah. made me feel like it was a chore. Yeah, yeah, chore yeah. yeah, anything like that. So like, we used to do races, and I'd be like, my my mentality, my mentality at academy level at Chelsea was just. Don't be last. Don't be the worst player. Instead of going out and thinking, can I be the best? Can I be the best? Yeah. I was just like, right, don't come last. Don't yeah. be the worst player. And wow. having that mentality, um, being one of my best mates actually, Ed Harris. So he got released from QPR. I got released yeah. from Brentford. And they said, um, I can say what the money was anyway. Um, <laughs> they said we got three hundred pound a week, a week. For, yeah. for one centre half. Yeah. And they were like, but we like both of you. So then me and him went outside and was like, we'll split it. Should we just take 150 each? We both, we both. So I was like, you know what? I've, I've earned the right to be here. Um, yeah, Teddy Teddy brought me in and um, yeah, I had a, a brilliant time at Stevenage. And that, it, that, that established me as a football league player. Fun time. Just know, like going through different experiences, like if you, by listening to this, you can tell, like I've had so many ups and so many downs. Like I had, when I look back, I had you know, three promotions in my first four seasons as a player but then got to that next level and then had to drop down again and got up and then got down. So had going through these like roller coaster experiences, that's why I think that early one at Chelsea taught me, you know, you can bounce back from it. Yeah, it, it took me a while to figure out what I want to do. And I think that's, that's the hardest part. A lot of, um, a lot of retired football, whatever level, like Premier League to, to non-league, when, when you finish at 35, which is like the average retirement yeah. age, I think, then you're like, right, what should I do next? And the hardest thing is finding that next passion. And yeah. I think now I've got it and I know You've what I'm doing. You've got the drive now, again, the similar yeah. drive what you probably yeah. had well, well in when you were there. Yeah.